Say good morning. You say good morning. When are you gonna say good morning to everybody? When? <laughs> say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We are getting ready. We are gonna leave and go to the gym. The gym. Yeah, it's early, and we're gonna go get it done with, so we can come back. And the washer and dryer people will be here sometime this afternoon. Which is so good, guys. They have so much laundry to do. Finally get it fixed. So yeah. we start doing some laundry. Because it's, it's so piling much. up. <laughs> yeah, it's so much. So we're going to go do that now. And then later on, <clears throat> we're going to film a review of the 19 Crimes wine that we bought yesterday. We didn't open it yesterday. We saved it so we could review it. And I think that's it for yeah. today. So probably see you guys at the gym. Alrighty, we are en route to the gym. Guys, you should be proud of us. This is like two days in a row without any mess ups, with hours or anything with the gym. And it feels good. It feels good. You know? Starving. I, yeah. You're starving, Dad? Yeah, I'm starving. I am too. It's part of the game, though. It's part of the game. Yep. I actually don't feel that bad. Like, I'm like hungry, but I'm not like starving. Uh, I just fed Emily and I'm sitting back here with her. She just ate. I have her bottle in my backpack here. So I just fed her. Now she's playing with her little phone that she got for Christmas. And we keep this other toy in here too. And it's freezing out again, guys. So we have extra blankets and I have her covered up and she's warm and cozy. It is freezing again. I'm where we live in Florida which means that we don't want it to be freezing here, which means we want more beachy weather. And it is, and it's like too cold. And I'm sure if some of you guys live up north, it's in the 30s here and you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, that's nothing. 30s is warm. Not to Floridians, guys. And you know what, we lived in Texas for yeah, Texas almost a year. Warm. Yeah, Texas is warm, but the winters were definitely colder than this. Don't you think? Yeah, sure. And I felt like we handled that better than we're handling moving back here. Well, I feel like here there's more humidity since we live by the near the beach. It feels worse. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, guys. It's just it's too dang cold for me. This makes me never want to leave the house. But I'm excited for the washer and dryer people to come and fix the dryer so we can finally get started on that. I hate when the laundry piles up so much and it's like it's worse than it's been. Oh, hot minute so we're on our way to the gym it's a beautiful day guys look how nice and sunny it is out look at that sky there's like no clouds it's beautiful too bad we can't hit the beach it's too cool but we're all gonna work out yeah you doing legs you working out your legs today you doing glutes you working on them glutes no you don't like to quads quad focus day no anyways guys we'll see you after the gym okay the um, washer and dryer company people just left and I guess it's not it's not our dryer that's broken it's like um the, what is it the little air vents like the air ducts where like the heat goes out like into the wall so it blows it out basically it's our it's apartment up. so it's our apartment not our washer our driving mean. and it, it's clogged it, like they need to clean it like every eight to twelve months so who knows when's the last time they cleaned it out so it's probably clogged up and it's just building tons of heat into our dryer and then so we called maintenance again so they're gonna have to come back out tomorrow um clean it out and then hopefully we can start washing clothes again. So you guys know what that means, don't you? Another day. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the story of my life lately. Yeah, but they said it really has to get done because if like the dryer gets overheated, you can either break or start a fire. We don't want to do that. No, we don't want either of those things because we paid a lot of money for those washer and dryers. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, so no luck. No washing or drying clothes today. So I'll have to do it tomorrow, and that's okay. I mean, whatever. But right now, Dad's feeding them. Yeah. 
What do you got? What is she eating? I don't even know what you made it. <laughs> I was like, I have no clue. Oh, uh, he's feeding her some chicken. <laughs> I really did have any freaking clue. <laughs> some chicken, um, rice cereal, and I think a little refried bean is in there too. And that's one of her favorite combos. So he's feeding her that. And she is loving it. What she always stares at the ground. Does anybody else's kid do that? Comment below. She's always staring at the ground. Isn't that weird? Yeah. And there's nothing interesting on the ground. No, look. Straight carpet. What are you looking at down there? Anyways, I'm gonna make something to eat for lunch for both of us because we are starving. So I'm gonna get on that now. Why? Em and I are just hanging, watching a little tube. Say hi. Say hi. And I'm eating a snack. I'm eating um, this Nutty Naturals Rainforest. That's like a trail mix. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? You can have the camera. Where are you trying to go? I'm gonna get you. Am I crazy? She's at the stage where she literally is trying to grab everything. What are you doing, Dad? Looking for a snack. That sounds good. You sure? It's because all the snacks are healthy. No, we don't have any snacks. Yeah, look, I'm eating one. I just showed them. Okay, besides that, that's the only snack we have. Doesn't have to be that. Why don't you have some eggs? You can have... Look at your daughter. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can make some hard-boiled... That's a bad angle for her. <laughs> <laughs> you can make hard-boiled eggs. Mm. I'm going to help him find a snack. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, and the maintenance guy's here fixing the dryer. Ends up from a nap. Apparently, Hub needs one. <sighs> Emmeline, hey, I'm up here. <laughs> Emmeline, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing with that hand? <laughs> Emmeline. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps grabbing my tushy. Anyways, I'm about to start cooking dinner, guys. And take a bath. But apparently, I need to get her first. But she's up from her nap. Literally, she only slept for like 30 minutes. She quick cray. You got so tall. When you get so big. When you get so big. No, nope, can't have that. Oh, you're on dad. That's why. Look at those chunkers. What's daddy doing to you? Girl, you lost a sock. Where'd it go? Where'd that sock go? Where'd that sock go? Emmeline is waking up from her nap. I can hear her right now, and Josue just went to Publix. So I'm gonna go get Emmeline so I can give her a bath. Oh shoot, somebody's calling me. That's so sweet. 
Okay, Emmeline is in the bath. Looking mighty cute, I might add. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Look at your hair. Your hair is getting long. I could give you a mohawk. You love that hippo. Yeah, you do, don't you? Man, but Josue is still at Publix right now. And um, I decided to give her a bath while he was gone. I'm literally just sitting on the bathroom floor playing with her in the tub. I keep putting water on her because it's cold and I don't want her to get chilly. And I don't want... I don't want you to sit in there for too long even though you have a good time. Because it's chilly. Um, so she just woke up from her nap like I said. And we already ate dinner. I didn't show you guys because I feel like I show you guys all the time what we're eating for dinner and I don't want to bore you more than I already do. So I'll just tell you what we had. We had um, the shrimp and some, let me put some water on her, the shrimp and rice and is that better? Is that better? And we did the shrimp and rice with uh, some red sauce over it. And I made it a little spicy. I put um, some Cajun seasoning on it. And it was good. But she was snapping. And she's so cute. You're so cute. What did you get? So cute. Look who's home. Home. You're home. Not Emmeline's bad. clean. Not you though. You stink. I still stink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, he's home now, and um, I don't know if I told. Oh yeah, I think we. I think we told them that the the dryer's now fixed. I don't know if I told you if the maintenance guy came out. Anyways, maintenance guy came out, fixed it. So now I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna start with her laundry. Look at all that. Wash her clothes first and her bed sheet and stuff and her diaper changing table thing. And then I'll work on ours, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because it's kind of late. But she just woke up, so we're going to play with her for a little bit. And then we're going to shower when she goes to bed. And then we're probably just going to hang out and then go to bed. So we're going to end the vlog here, guys. But say good night. Good night. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. We will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Hope you have a great night. Bye.